and today I'm coming to you from the city of Iksan, South Korea. We've been invited to check out the opening ceremony of the 2022 World Heritage Media Art Festival, which is happening right here at this very famous and iconic stone pagoda. But before that, I want to explore a little bit of the city of Iksan, South Korea, so uh, let's get to that. So the first place I've decided to check out in Iksan is this place it's called Gosurak and it is this place that has over 4,000 of these traditional Korean earthenware pots and in these pots different Korean traditional foods are fermenting away so you'll find everything from soy sauce to gochujang to doenjang to vinegar and if this place looks familiar it's because you might recognize it from a really famous K-drama from a few years ago called The King Eternal Monarch with Yi Min Ho. They actually filmed some pretty iconic scenes right at this very location. So you can come here, it is free. It's not very far away from Iksan Station. It's a great place to check out. So next up is a really interesting experience. This is the Gyodo So Set Jung. So this is actually a filming location that you can check out. So it was originally built for the 2005 movie called Holiday, which was released here in Korea. Since then, they've filmed hundreds of different films and dramas and variety shows at this very location. It's this huge place that has so much detail to it. I tell you, I don't think I ever want to end up in jail. This is as close as I want to be to it, but there is everything from like a judge's office to an interrogation room to multiple prison cells that you can check out. They actually have free uniforms that you can put on as well and walk around and, uh, and just uh, pretend like you're an actual convict. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Oh, you don't want to jinx yourself like that, but uh, if that's for you, then hey, you do you, boo. Behind me is National Treasure 289. This is a five-story pagoda right here at Wanguri Ruins in Iksan. So nobody really knows exactly when it was built, but it's believed to have been built during the Baekje period, which makes it super old, well over a thousand years old. It's been renovated a few times and uh, stands five stories tall. Right here in the beautiful area, all around this area used to be a palace that you can come check out. There's also a free museum here. So as the sun is going down, there are different festivities that are starting up. The kids behind me are trying their hardest to cycle as fast as they can in order to light up this screen right here. All this area behind me is uh, just coming to life. It is beautiful. There's excitement in the air as we're just moments away from the opening ceremony beginning. I can't wait. So how much fun was that opening ceremony? I'm so glad we were able to check it out. So there are so many different festivals around Korea. This one was really unique because you get to see all the World Heritage sites right behind us. And uh, it's only an hour or so away from Seoul, so it's definitely worth checking out. So this festival will be running until October 3rd of this year. So if you want to find out more information about it, which you should, I'll leave down in the description box below. It's a great time of the year, so uh, come check out this festival if you'll enjoy it.